justify spending so much money to go see the Bengals in KC. I'd love to see Kansas City, but I would rather see the games next season. And if you're sticking around here, you want to watch the game for free? WHIOT yeah. Channel 7, we have for you. The game is Sunday at 3 p.m. And we're sending New Center 7's James Ryder to the game. He will have everything Bengals for you leading up to the AFC Championship game and after. And here's the thing. From your couch, you can have much better snacks than you would have in yes. any stadium. The bathroom is just about the, you know. And you know it's camera. clean. If it's not, that's your problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're highlighting Bengals fans ahead of this Sunday's big game. Trotwood Mayor Mary McDonald is getting in on all the action. She sent us this picture as she reps Cincinnati. And this week, we want you to send us your pictures in your Bengals gear. You can do that by going to our WHIO News app and click Upload Photos on the bottom right. Now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with Chief Meteorologist McCall Bright Eggs. Chilly getting really cold over the next few days. <laughs> Yeah, it is. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something wrong. Yes. <laughs> you know what? I went to my brain on this Monday. It's uh, so very clear what we got. You spent uh, several, yeah. several hours outside today, so we'll chalk that up. I guess my yeah. little brain freeze. <laughs> <laughs> it's still your brain. You're still falling out yeah. of it. You know what? Temperatures are dropping, and tonight is not even the coldest night that we're going to see over the next few days. So you want all of the warm layers from now through the rest of the week, really. Let's talk about road conditions because that's going to be the first impactful thing you will have to deal with. We are looking at some areas of refreeze tonight, not only from melting snow earlier today, but we're dealing with some patchy drizzle and mist currently. That could lead to some slick spots through the night into the start of tomorrow. And then tomorrow afternoon should be a lot better, although it is going to be a cold day. Satellite and radar imagery close to home. You can see overcast skies, but then as you get into the southeastern quadrant of the Miami Valley, there is some wintry precipitation moving through, and most of that is in the form of freezing drizzle. You can see that on our camera shot right now. This is Urbana, and you can barely see uh, past the lens as it's starting to freeze over from the moisture out there, freezing on contact. So we will be dealing with similar conditions, especially in the eastern and southeastern Miami Valley. Live Doppler 7 radar right now as we scan the skies, temperatures Really everywhere are at least below freezing, but not too far below freezing. You see some pink there showing up on our radar. That's actually the freezing drizzle that I was telling you about. So I'll zoom in a little bit closer for you. You can see from Springfield down into Xenia, Cedarville, Harveysburg, Clarksville, over to Wilmington, a light glaze of ice may be developing, especially on bridges and overpasses, elevated surfaces, be careful if you are going to be out tonight and even early tomorrow morning. So whatever falls now isn't going to melt. It's just going to glaze over. Two reasons that we have uh, icy conditions. One, because we have the drizzle and fog that's occurring right now. Those water droplets are freezing on contact. So anything that's below 32 degrees. Those elevated surfaces, you get the wind that comes underneath it. And that can take the temperature that's at 31 right now and drop it down into the 20s. We also dealt with snow melt today. That's from the sunshine we had earlier, breaking through some of the clouds at times. The sun went down, and then you have that refreeze potential, and we're seeing that in a few areas this evening into the overnight hours. Road temperatures, well, they are down into the 20s, so certainly cold enough to support this freezing drizzle and icy weather. For the rest of tonight, we will fall into the middle teens by morning. May see a few breaks in the clouds by daybreak. Tomorrow afternoon, not much warmer, in the low 20s for a high. We have a little breeze in the forecast, so that gives you a wind chill. The wind chill in the morning, daybreak, we're right around those low single digits into the teens for the afternoon, and then tomorrow night really is when we crank those temperatures down to near zero, if not below, to start Wednesday morning. And Wednesday afternoon, not going to be quite uh, warm at all. We only get to about 18 degrees Wednesday afternoon. Then Thursday, we get above freezing, briefly, and then Thursday night I'm tracking some snow. So here's that snow chance for Thursday. We're dry in the morning, and most of the day Thursday is dry. We get you past dinner time, there's 7 p.m. Snow showers start to move in from the northwest. Scattered snow showers through the night into Thursday morning. That will give us a good opportunity to accumulate snow because it's in the darkness of the day, rather than during the daytime hours when you have some sunshine that helps to try and melt that snow a bit. Snow showers should taper as we head into your Friday afternoon and evening. Looks like at least an inch or two is possible. 
I'm going to talk more about snow totals in the next day or two as we get closer to that Thursday, Friday time frame. Cold weather comes back in behind that. Single digits to start Saturday, low 20 Saturday afternoon. Drier and temperatures rising back to the 30s for the early part of next week. Thank you, McCall. This is Winter Restaurant Week here in the Miami Valley. You like that, don't you? That sounds delicious mm -hmm. to me, yeah. I think you got to take McCall and myself out for, uh, for a bite. Um, I think if it was your idea, why don't you take us out? Okay. Now people can help give back while they're eating out, Miss Molly. Or you could. Or you could. <laughs>